Welcome to Electron Line. Our next example, again, is a little bit tricky. So let's read it together and see if we can figure it out. It says here that a wire that is 20 centimeters long is cut into two pieces, and each piece is bent into a square. How long should each piece be if the sum of the two areas made from the two wires equals 125 divided by 8 square centimeters? All right, let's think about that. We have a single wire, and the length of the single wire is 20 centimeters. And we're going to cut it into two pieces, a shorter piece and a longer piece. Presumably, maybe they are the same length, but maybe one is smaller than the other. And so how are, how are we going to express the length of each piece? So we're going to let x equal the length of the smallest piece. So we're going to call this x. Then how do we represent the length of the other piece? Well, if the total length is 20, and one of them is x, then 20 minus x would be the length of the other piece. So that means that 20 minus x equals the length of the other piece. Okay, now we're going to take each of those two pieces and bend them into the size, into the shape of a square. So we take this piece and bend it into a square. It's going to look something like this which means that each side would be one quarter the size of the piece. With other words, it would be x over 4, x over 4, x over 4, and x over 4. That would be the four sides of the square. Add them all together. That gives you a total circumference, or not circumference, but a total uh, yeah, circumference of x when you add them all together. The same with the square made out of the bigger piece. Each side would have a length of 20 minus x divided by 4, 20 minus x divided by 4, 20 minus x divided by 4, and 20 minus x divided by 4. So we have two squares. Each side of the small square will be x over 4. Each side of the largest square will be 20 minus x over 4. And now they tell us that the sum of the areas equal 125 over 8. To find the area of a square would be the side square, so x over 2 quantity squared, that would be the area of the small square, plus, uh, over not over 2, but over 4, of course, and then the large one would be 20 minus x divided by 4, and we square that, that would be the area of the large square. So that's the area of the small square plus the area of the large square equals 125 divided by 8. So the small side squared plus the large side squared equals 125 over 8. Now we have to solve this for x. So first let's multiply everything out. So we have x squared divided by 16 plus, we multiply this out, we get 400 minus 40x plus x squared divided by 16 equals 125 divided by 8. Now to write all that over the same denominator, we're going to multiply here the top and the bottom by 2 divided by 2. When you divide, when you multiply times 2 over 2, that's the same as multiplying by 1, nothing changes. Now this can be written as x squared over 16 plus 400 over 16 minus 40x over 16 and uh, plus x squared over 16 and that is equal to 250 over 16. So now you can see that everything is over 16, so we can go ahead and multiply both sides by 16. And when we do that, we get rid of the denominators. So now we have x squared plus x squared, which is 2x squared minus 40x plus 400 equals 250. And if we subtract 250 from both sides, we get 2x squared minus 40x plus 400 minus 250, which is 150, equals 0. And now we can divide both sides by 2 to get rid of the 2 in front of the x squared. So we get x squared minus 20x plus 75 is equal to 0. And this equation needs to be solved for x to solve our problem. So now we need to factor that, and that shouldn't be too hard to factor. So let's try this. Equals 0. We have an x and an x, because x times x gives us x squared. Now notice if the middle term is negative and the third term is positive, that means they both must be negative. We're looking for two numbers. When we multiply, we get 75. When we add, we get 20. 
And I think 5 and 15 goes 5 times 15 to 75, and 5 plus 15 is 20, so 5 and 15. Now when we have two binomials multiplied together equaling 0, that means that either the first binomial, x minus 5, equals 0, or x minus 15 is equal to 0, which means that x equals 5, or x equals 15. Now notice, since x represented the smallest of the two pieces, therefore we'll take the small number, x equals 5, which means that 20 minus x is equal to 20 minus 5, which is equal to 15. And so you can see that 5 and 15 were the two sizes of the two pieces. When we bend those in the shape of a square, we add the two areas together, we'll get the total area of 125 divided by 8. And that is how it's done.